Let's bring in CNBC's Nicole Lappin live from CNBC headquarters. Uh, Nicole, a steep sell-off for the markets yesterday. Yeah, it was nasty, guys. Uh, the debt was off 178 points. You know, there's big concern, not about that royal wedding, but other news out of Europe, specifically that Ireland could be going by the way of Greece. So that's been a big driver for the sell-off. But we did come off our lows, I will say that, and we're still above that 11,000 mark. And we've rallied, by the way, 15% since August. So this correction yesterday and last week, we were off about 2% seems natural. Futures are higher this morning, so just no. keeping it real, giving you guys some perspective, keep, taking keep the one day blinders keep, off. You know what I mean? We've like had that. to do that already this yeah. morning, Nicole. Keeping there, it real. There you go. Keep Let's it get real. So help us there out you here. Go. Yeah. So, Pat, so Pat Buchanan, mm. he invested a lot of money in GM. Yeah. A lot of money. It didn't turn out so well. Yeah, so did you guys. And I'm glad I'm seeing you this morning because I wanted to did. congratulate you. Yep, exactly. How does it feel? It's not every day that a company you own goes public. So yeah. Mazel Tov. There you go. Um, mazel you know, Mazel. Mazel there you go. And the hell <laughs> up. There you go. Barack so Obama, not so I guess bad. GM is uh, it's got an IPO. How's that going to work out? Yeah, it's on track to be the biggest ever IPO, in fact. Uh, remember, the government still owns 60% of GM after the bailout. And after today, the government will still own 25%. Take a couple of years to get the government out of GM's hair. Hmm. But as you know, it's been a backlash for folks like you and I getting in on this and smaller brokers who are pretty upset they're not included. It happens yeah. all the time with big IPOs, but GM is different because guess what? Mika, Joe, Donnie, Chris in the control room, the rest of con the control room, I, we all own a little bit of GM. Yes, there you go. See? And by the way, Everybody. I would just, in case there are any tea partiers watching and too yeah. much government, yeah. I guess to me that's kind of an example of. Just right amount yeah. of government in this case. Otherwise, no, no, no. Yeah, really otherwise quick, you'd have all those GM people out of work right now. And and so, can we give a little kudos to, to little the guys? Kudos, little kudos. Hey, uh, Nicole, really quickly, we got to go. But before we leave, at 8:30 every morning, we have Erin Burnett come on, and she makes up an excuse for being in another exotic locale. Right. I think she's in Dubai today. I can't wait for the no, excuse. No, she's back. But so, oh, real great. Well, something else happens at 8.30 this morning. Uh, what are yep. we going to find out at 8.30? Yeah, CPI comes out at 8.30 this morning. It's the broadest measure, as you guys know, of inflation. It's expected to show dangerously low levels of inflation. Investors are really concerned about two different types of inflation issues, uh, low inflation in the short term and runaway inflation in the long term. Right. And that wow. is doing some funky things to the bond market. Uh -oh. So we'll be watching that. Very okay. Nicole, Nicole. Before we go real fast, because I always, it's it's a segment called Aaron Burnett, who's she going to date? Tom Brady or Donald Trump? No, 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 Hey, 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 Nicole. Nicole. Fred Terry hey. is still single, I hear. Hey, now, listen, <laughs> Mika, Mika has taught me, you don't have to answer every question. <laughs> Nicole, thank you for being with us. We greatly Nicole appreciate Lappin, it. Nicole Lappin, thanks so much. Let's go to Willie Geis.